So when you catch catch someone with your, their pants around their ankles, uh-huh. does that phrase come from like you caught somebody like masturbating, like about to fuck something? It's a good question. I pants around your ankles. Like when I think about it, here's my theory. Mm-hmm. In the old west you would be hitting like one of the brothels or something like that. And some Mm -hmm. guy would catch you with your pants around your ankles when he kicks your door down. Oh, yeah, like Red Dead style. You're stalking him and you're going to rob him when he goes in and he's vulnerable. You're going to catch him with his pants around his ankles. He's going to be like, oh, shit, I got to pull up my... And now he's dead. (laughs) You you sit with your ear against the door and you wait to hear that buckle hit the ground. Exactly. And then that's when you do it. Because you want to get it all tangled up. (laughs) Before his feet are out of the pants, I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Welcome to No One Can Know About This, a podcast where we play every Final Fantasy. I'm Jeff Ekman. And I'm Ryan Kazmiski. And here we go, season four, episode 39. We're going to finish Chocobo breeding this week. That's right. Um, and then well, it's so great because once you finish Chocobo breeding, that unlocks like the sort of final places in the world you haven't been. Mm-hmm. And then once you get there, you're sort of handed what you don't realize is like a puzzle box. (laughs) Like a hell hell razor puzzle box. (laughs) And you start putting it together and Mm -hmm. things just get mentally just more and more Frustrating and upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last week we got a green and a blue chocobo of different genders. Mm-hmm. Now Which we have was so to... lucky. Like I think we got like the best luck we could have doing the breeding. I think we're like, going to continue yeah. to get the, that that same level of luck. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got the two chocobos. We've got to race them and get their stats up, and then they can fuck and make a black chocobo. And, and then, then we're going to go get a wonderful chocobo. I think. And then mate that with the, the... black chocobo. Uh-huh. This is all going to happen yeah, this week. It's all going to be. Yeah. It's all happening. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> first things first, we're going to pack up from the cabin and drive home. Right, going back to Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. I was, yeah, I was. I remember being pretty ready to leave right. at this point. At this I'd point been was, sick for a day. Yeah, I was you were like, especially that last day. I was day. like, you know what? This is too much Final <laughs> Fantasy. Like, I can't. <laughs> like, I can't believe we just spent a whole week I only know, doing that. Only doing that. We... <laughs> Had all these plans to go fishing. And it's so fun when you're doing it, and then the, like the guilt and the shame set in, and you're going like, you're gonna get back, and people are gonna be like, "So how was your vacation?" Yeah, and you're, you're gonna be like, "Just done. I, I don't really want to talk about it." And, uh, <laughs> nothing happened. It was awesome, but it was um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's what's ahead. Without any further ado, let's get started. Mm-hmm. Well, hi Haley. Da, 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 da. God, I went to sleep with so much battle music in my head. God damn it. So we're going to pack up this lodge, head back to my apartment, and breed these fucking chocobos. Yeah, I think so. Like groceries and shit. Ah! What a what? There's a big spider crawling across my chest. I'm just going to dump out this vinegar because I can't find a cat for it. <laughs> um, man, it is good to be feeling okay again. You really seemed in a bad way. Well, and it was also, I was like, I'm not like, I don't have an illness, but I feel sick. Like, I don't, that's always like. Yeah. Well, there, you probably like, do have like a stealth tomorrow, illness. I'll go to the hospital, I guess. Right, like, right. <laughs> something's broken inside of me. <laughs> thinking about the game more, too. I woke up thinking about the game. Yeah, first, me too. But I feel like they misused the word clone. I don't think they meant clones. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I think they were just filling people with Genova cells trying to make more people like Sephiroth. But they but say clones not, of they Sephiroth. They clones, but, yeah. like... They, there's but no then, cloning facility. But there's no, like, cloning. It's like no. people in tubes getting Genova shit, you know, and then... And stuff yeah, like that. and everybody's a different person. Like, Cloud yeah, was a like guy, guy, Zach guy, was a guy, yeah, Sephiroth guy, was a guy. The guy in the, uh... Pipe too, who was sick. Look, well, nothing. It's, I think right, clone yeah. is like a mistranslation, mm. but they didn't have like a one-word way of saying like infused with the thing that made Sephiroth special thing. You know, it's like good for you for on spec figuring out that that was a mistranslation. Well, over the years, you know, of course, I like read about Final Fantasy VII, so I have little tidbits in my head of like, I couldn't remember the explanations, and since I hadn't played it, they didn't make sense, but Mm. I think something like unlocked, and I was like, they couldn't mean clones. (laughs) That's not what that means. But like, how the fuck did they get that wrong? That is an amazing thing to have gotten wrong. Like, for how great this game still is, like, I cannot believe that they got stuff that big that wrong in the translation. They meant shape 
shapeshifter, right? Which means a totally different thing. Yeah, they don't even really tell you that Genova's a shapeshifter. That's like the most important aspect of the whole thing. And it makes so many things that didn't make sense make sense when yeah, you know that. It's it's truly remarkable. It's a thing that I'm going to be thinking about forever. Like, how is this game so good? And it's, and put, it's a translated... Key, a truly important thing. And it's translated so carelessly like it's like they didn't give us fuck like not at all <laughs> looking into it i think almost all of the like um expanded games and movies and stuff deal with like zach and cloud in their past <laughs> like that's all that shit that i'm like where is it <laughs> and all these so i'll probably like... be watching all these stupid movies oh my god <laughs> I'm not gonna play Dirge of Cerberus or whatever. I hear it's awful. I might play Dirge of Cerberus. It, it all depends on how far we get into the extra content of this season, huh? It does. It's I at the time I didn't even consider it, but now I'm looking at it going like that's a possibility. Well, because I think we are gonna play Crisis Core some, for pa yeah. for Patreon or on stream <laughs> or something. Oh man, there's so much more fucking Final Fantasy VII still, and then the and remake then the is remake. gonna come out. <laughs> I think you might be able to just straight up watch an anime of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I don't know that I need to do that. I don't either. I'm, I'm not saying this you should. Game. I'm just saying. Is I that don't know that I need to see any of the extended stuff, actually. I think that uh, that was a, a successful because like, we were fully immersed in that. So. <laughs> yeah, my skin is wrinkly from spending too much time in this hot tub. It looks like you're going to have like some sores where the skin f is falling you're not, off. It says like 15 minutes <laughs> tops. Know. I had all these ideas and then I was like, if, if, like, we would have like cabin experiences too. And I'm like, of course we wound up just playing this all the time. It's what we were here to do and it was sucking us in. Everything was adding up to us playing this all the time, but like, I think the effect is going to be really good, like because we're so like in it deep. Yeah. <laughs> so we were so close to doing this whole thing in the cabin. The only question it would have been really nice actually to have like two days here at the cabin after we beat the game and just like. No, what if, I don't want to stay here longer. I, I want to go home. I wanna, <laughs> well, I want to go home too, but like I want to. Appreciate this place in a way that's different than the one way that we did. It would have been nice to go on like an actual real vacation, is yeah, what I'm you're like, saying. I'm like, like, what if we also had been, a vacation? It would have been nice to go somewhere and like do some stuff you don't normally do. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, then they should, that's a different trip, I think. Yeah. I don't yeah. want, I like a trip longer than this. I can't. I don't want the trip to have been longer. I want to have finished the game two days before. Oh, know, yeah, like, I yeah, just yeah. Like, Okay, yeah, like, that's, that you know? hypothetical I would love, yeah. But yeah. the idea of right now staying no. through the weekend, I'm like, no. dude, no. I'm so, I, I gotta get back to my world. I know. <laughs> But that's the thing where I'm like, but we're so close to being done with this world. Like, the only like, question mark in my mind is how long it's going to take us to be powerful enough to beat the optional bosses. That's really it. Right. I think the chocobos will be pretty easy. And then we'll uh, get all the extra shit, and then we'll be like leveling up to fight those things. And then we beat them, and then we go. And then the boss is going to be like, we'll just one shot. The yeah. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you hear the coyotes last night? No, but I heard them all, all, all the other nights. Yeah? Yeah. God, they're crazy. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. So it was awesome to just like, what, like at first I thought there was like, someone a few houses away was playing music or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if you even just drive right outside of LA, that's just like, that's the sound of the night. It didn't strike me just quite how similar this place is to your house. Yeah, it's how really just like, even these chairs. Even the chair. Against the bar. Yep. And the couch that's an L. Like, yep. It's like, this is so... We gotta run the dishwasher before we go. Right. You just slept on the top bunk. Oh, there is? Well, I think you should have slept on the top bunk. Why? Because it's more awesome that way. I don't want to climb out whenever I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Goodbye, Lodge. We are going off of lake time. Back to LA time. Mm hmm. Do you mind grabbing that? Yeah. Grass Valley Lodge, we hardly knew ye. No such luck, Haley. Haley, get back in the back. <laughs> not in the front, not in the back seat. All right. 
<laughs> that lot will never see that much Final Fantasy again. Probably not. Oh man, that was exactly what I needed. I'm actually like excited to get back to my normal schedule and work and stuff. Yeah. Whereas when we left, I was like, oh my god, how am I ever going to work again? <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do is spend a lot of time playing Final Fantasy. I don't think this is worth commenting on, but I want to mention the song that played for a second in the background, because that's like the song that it starts with A in my phone, and mm -hmm. anytime I plug it in, I hear the beginning of that song, and it's not a terrible song, but I'm just like so fucking sick of it. I have a pretty visceral reaction to it every time it happens. It's enough I like already really with fucking that hate it. fucking song. <laughs> Why would iTunes ever, you plug it in and it always plays it automatically plays. the first song in your alphabetical library? Come on. Time for Winding Road mm -hmm. Mountain. And then Flat Flat Land. So oh, nothing I love better than arriving back in Los Angeles after being gone. I really, really fucking love it. Yeah, it's going to be great to be home. So on the two and a half hour drive back from the cabin, you start talking about all sorts of stuff. Like, like uh, uh, what's awaiting you in your old life? Yeah, all like old familiar things. <laughs> Anybody here watch Gold Rush yeah, on Discovery? There was a new season. Oh it's man, I gotta, amazing. I gotta catch up on Gold Rush. Oh yeah. How's yeah, Parker Parker's doing? doing? The real Gene, star of that show. Gene Cheeseman. It's amazing that that show started with them being like, Todd is our guy, and right. then it becomes like, no, Parker Fuck is Todd. way more interesting. She, like, Parker and Tony are like really, Todd really is, fascinating. Well, because Parker is just like, I feel like he's being himself, but he also like knows to play up conflict for the mm -hmm. camera. Whereas... Todd is like, I'm going to present myself as a Jesus man. Well, and he like, presents himself as a Jesus man, and he looks like a fucking drunk. He is a drunk. He's <laughs> he a piece looks, of shit. I hate that guy. He's so not fun to watch. All the time. <laughs> and you can tell there have been seasons where Parker's like, I just want to mine the gold. I don't care about this fucking show. Yeah. Let me just deal with the truck today. Like, I don't want to have a conflict. Let me just work the truck. Parker is so great. Yeah. He's like... Sorry, I know not everyone watches the show, and this isn't why you're here, but just for a second. Because, like, he comes from gold mining. Yeah, He's not his like grandfather, new. like, did it back in the day. It's like his fucking destiny to yeah. be, like, a successful gold miner. His grandfather is also the sweetest, most wonderful person who passed away, I think, in you, the like, last season. You, like, watch him grow up and mature. And, and he's like, like, oh, pa you do a great, his grandfather. Parker, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so proud of you, Parker. <laughs> like, he's great. I love it. <laughs> I think it was the last season I watched, too. I love he's, like, brought his girlfriend back from California. I'm like, oh, now he's enjoying oh, yeah. the life of somebody who has money from TV. Yeah, 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 <laughs> And yeah. he's got his gold thing going. Yeah. He's just, like, he's, he's like, living the life. at the top of his young man game. Here. Yeah, he found this girl <laughs> who, like, loves mining gold, too, and, like, wants to be around for it. So sad when his amazing grandfather died. I know. His father, grandfather was the best. Oh, you used to do a great impression. We should do that voice. We should, I forgot about it. <laughs> it's hard to say anything too coherent in it. I know, <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, he was so impossibly out. old and haggard. Just so proud of your gold digging. Welcome to Los Angeles and the surrounding area. Miles. Yeah, welcome to back to LA. They're writing hashtag naked in the sky. Oh. Naked. Which C H Oh wow, there's multiple planes doing it at once. Yeah. I'll tell you what it says. C H E. <laughs> You're like, keep your eyes on the road. Yeah, seriously. I'm like, you don't need to read the sky. <laughs> it, well, it was for a skincare product or I something. Don't know. Or juice, maybe? Share. Naked cherry. Naked cherry. Well, I mean, they did pay to have it written in the sky. I'm gonna see what it is. <laughs> Maybe a new type of eyeliner? Eyeliner? No, you passed it. Oh, I passed it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. Well, I'll see you at my place in a 20 minutes. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be chocobo breeding time. Yep. Haley, you wanna come up front? So I drop Ryan off at his house, I head home, yeah, and then Ryan gets I, in his car I, and comes over I, within I 20 minutes. I unpack my bags, and I say hi to my brother, and then I go, I gotta go breed some chocobos. <laughs> test, 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 test. Yeah, I think we're good. <sighs>
Back at home base. Feels good. I can breathe like normal. Yeah. This pickled okra and mushrooms are bad now, right? No. No? Oh, they're pickles. Well, I thought that you said they only good for like months. Oh, months. Yeah. Okay. The colors look better on my TV. Yeah, way better. We really should have played with the settings on the TV at the cabin. Seriously. As soon as we started it on yours, it was because yours is like set for playing video games. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. It was like so much brighter. It was unbelievably <laughs> muted at the cabin. Okay, so we were breeding chocobos. Mm-hmm. And where we left off, we had gotten our blue and green chocobos of opposite genders. There's a couple other items we're gonna need. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go try to find the chocobo sage, buy some more shit from him, yeah. and then we're gonna need a nut that you can find at that goblin island. There's a level of relaxed that I am that I never got to being outside of my home. So we go see the chocobo sage. Yeah, and this is one of the last times where I think we just dump all of our cash. Because <laughs> we gotta buy all these greens. at a certain point, we're just gonna have too much cash to be able to dump. Yeah, but I don't know that we're there yet. Now, what can I do for you? These are so fucking expensive, dude. We're not gonna have enough money for our, uh, our vacation home. Not right now. Mm. Not right now. So we get what we need from the chocobo sage and get the fuck out of there. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there's that. Work. I think that's it. <laughs> yep. Come here, goblins. So we head to the exotic goblin island. <laughs> to get to, the right nuts. To steal some nuts from some goblins. <laughs> I'm try to steal it. So I steal the nut we need, and we get going back to the chocobo stables. Man, could you imagine if we were trying to figure out chocobo breeding without looking it up? I think it's impossible to do. Seems like it. Oh, you found your bone that you buried fucking week ago? Wow. I was wondering where that went. <laughs> okay. We're eating a black chocobo. You need a blue chocobo and a green chocobo of opposite genders. You need to win approximately nine races between your two chocobos. The green chocobo is the best one because it doesn't slow down when racing through the space station section of the track. Feed the chocobo ten silkus greens and return to the gold saucer. Ten of these silkus greens. She just cannot fucking decide. <laughs> Jesus, Haley, hey, come here. Make a choice. She's really trying to bury it. So we've got everything we need for the next step, and yeah. we start leveling up our green chocobo. Yeah, we just, like, get one of those uh, force feeders for, like, the <laughs> foie gras. We jam it down we its jam throat, it down its and gullet. we just pour ten, ten silk silk greens. greens. <laughs> yeah, speed plus, stamina plus, intelligence plus. We're getting along better. It's time to go race. Oh man, this looks great on this TV. Yeah. It's so saturated. Yeah. Okay, let's keep track here, because we gotta do nine of them. I'm just gonna get a piece of scratch paper and make tally marks. That sounds good. The short. Always the short. Yeah, I mean, it's possible that when this game came out, this was cool enough to want to do the long one, but that has not stayed true. No. Oh. <laughs> not even a little bit. <laughs> I mean, Mario Kart was out at this time. Yeah. Mario Kart 64 was out at this time. Yeah, but I mean to have this like in a game that's not a... That's not a Mario Kart yeah. game? Yeah. Like as a stupid mini game, it might have been more, much more entertaining <laughs> yeah, than it I is to us now. It, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Even then, there's stuff you can do in Zelda games. Oh yeah, shoot the targets. Shoot the targets. Amazing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit all the rupees and before the time runs out or you don't get the bigger wallet. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but we can all agree, I think, that bomb chew bowling is really good. From Ocarina? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then, oh man, we're gonna finally play Blitzball. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. So one thing about chocobo racing is that if your chocobo is really good, he'll just get to the end of the race, and then you have to wait, like, another couple of minutes for second place right. to come in. And since it forces you to start at the lowest rank, we have, like, a dope green chocobo, <laughs> and we're just, like, minutes ahead. You gotta wait for them to finish, and then you can press start. Right, because you need to know the second place, right? Yep. Are they here yet? No, we were... They're about to be, but... Man. No, they're not. Oh, there they are. Jesus Christ. Boy, we breeded quite the choker. Right, and it starts us in class C, right? So that's good. Race number two. Yep. See, this is a different course. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I don't at all. I, I, I kept trying to see the different courses you were seeing, and I just don't. 
It's always the same. Here's the part in outer space where the green one gets to really run. Mm -hmm. I think there's some different camera angles sometimes. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm obviously losing my mind. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to tell. It doesn't really look like anything, but I think it's the same. So this is the third one. At least for the most part, you get to sit back. Yeah, it's pretty relaxing. Race. Yeah, at least it's just boring. Well, I mean, we're still good enough to just leave it in automatic and watch the race. Yeah. What are those dings? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Like it's going through checkpoints? How complicated is this that we don't even realize? I don't know. Well, I mean, there's all kinds of shit about chocobo temperament and stuff going on that we can't see. Yeah. It's like, since we didn't say much during this part, here's 30 minutes of uninterrupted <laughs> chocobo music. Someone should do a charity marathon that's, uh, betting on chocobo races. Like, you place a bet and you can win a <laughs> prize. Yeah. And the money goes to charity. <clears throat> That'd be great. Or like a bonus episode about chocobo betting that uh, right. is available right now on Patreon. Yeah, instead of for charity, do it f where you give us the money. <laughs> George came in second. Three down. All right, B rank, here we go. I'm so glad that we don't have to get to S rank. I really thought that's what it was gonna be. When we were reading that and you were like, you don't have to get to S rank, I was like, oh man. <laughs> that takes a huge burden off. Yeah. Ooh, look at the class A screen. Ooh, now we're living at large. Oh shit. We're up against somebody who's way, way better than us. Well, we'll just have to be way smarter than that. I mean, pretty sick, they're too. They're way better than us. Look at how sick he is. Teok? Look at him. Yeah, we're up in class A where there's harder competition. Yeah, and once you rank up, you start facing off against jockeys who you met in the jockeys lounge, yeah. who are like char character jockeys who mm -hmm. are harder. And <laughs> this one's got a black chocobo. He's a black chocobo. That's what we're trying to breed here. No. I'm better than most, but not better than him. Man, I'm going manual the whole time. Get out of the fucking way, assholes. What's wrong with these people? Get out of the way. God, these guys. Alright, now we're up front. Now I had to actually play from the beginning of this one. God damn it. Oh my god, green chocobo. Fucking go, 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 go. Yes. Nice. <sighs> Is it possible that it can be easier to win on the long course because you have more time to maneuver? Oh. That's like interesting. If you're in the really hard ranks, like maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's <sighs> easier because you can. Um... Oh, that's seven. I didn't realize I was having to be sprinting throughout, not just at the end. These guys are that good. Up against Teok again. This motherfucker. This is such an advantage. Oh no. Oh, my oh, God. God. oh no! Oh man. That was seriously a photo finish I know. with Teok. And now that we've got to finish nine races with the bird, Teok or whatever really <laughs> becomes a nemesis because he's a problem. Whoa! I was so fucking cl What a cock! This guy. See, now I'm really getting how to ride chocobos. Now you're a master. Or at least an apprentice. Do this fucking sprint to the end. Fuck, do it. <sighs> Number eight. Hurting my thumb doing this. Getting Nintendo thumb and we're on PlayStation. This is race number nine, right? Yeah, if you win this, we can go breed. Purple's way out in front. He's gonna get tired. God. This is a tough one. Oh, no, 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 what? <laughs> what? Man, fuck this guy. How did he pull that off? I thought that that was, that was like a photo finish. I thought I had him, I, I thought I was across the green light. He looked ahead of you to me. Really? Yeah. Damn. No good, no black chocobos this time. Oh, none at all? He's been in every race in this class. Maybe he ranked up after that win. Fucking slow your ass down, Blue. Yeah. Whew. <clears throat> and that's nine. That's nine. So we head back to the stables to get this black chocobo. Mm -hmm. Chocobos that you breed will not be old enough to breed themselves until you are, have engaged in somewhere between three and 18 fights. But for what it's worth, in order to breed a gold chocobo, you will need your black chocobo to breed with a wonderful chocobo. Where do we get that? Wonderful chocobos can be captured in the tracks near the Icicle Inn. Wonderful chocobos are always accompanied by an enemy called a jumping but not by any enemies called Bandersnatches. And if you get a mix of jumpings with Bandersnatches and a chocobo, it will not be a wonderful chocobo. Okay, so just jumpings. Jumping enemies are pictured in the screenshot below. They look like uh, rabbits. 
the Bandersnatches look like wolves. Should I just go get the wonderful Chocobo first? I think so. Yeah. I think right now have... you can breed the green and the blue using the Carob Nut, and you should receive a black Chocobo. And then you need to breed the black Chocobo with the wonderful Chocobo. But I don't think the green and blue are old enough yet. They're not. So we're going to go catch the wonderful Chocobo and in the process, hopefully do between do 3 enough. and 18. Yeah. Oh, good. And then we're going to have to win 12 races with the black Chocobo. Well, luckily he's going to be awesome. Yeah. Or she. It can be fairly difficult to win races in S-Class after you won nine races on either of your Chocobos. So be prepared to race both of them. Those have got to be Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is wonderful. Come on. Yes. 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 That didn't take that long. No, that was easy. But I'm still gonna run out of fights and fights. Between 3 and 18 fights, huh? It's quite a discrepancy. That's what it said. Is it safe to say this is our hypothetical crew for weapon fights? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. They're a powerhouse team. Without even thinking about it or considering anybody else, yeah. we just arbitrarily stick with Cloud, Barrett, and Sid. Knowing that we don't have Barrett's final weapon or anything. Yeah, but we're just kind of like, I can't be bothered to think about grinding anyone else, so we're just going to keep it simple. These are our final dudes. We don't have, like, an experience egg or something, do we? No, but that's the highest thing at the gold saucer. If you get 2,000 gold points, you can get the experience plus materia. Oh. So, hopefully Hopefully we can get that without trying too hard, because that would really... I mean, we've been racking up the gold points. Yeah, and I feel like... Ten at a time. We... Yeah, but sometimes they give you like 300. I, I at least saw that once. Anyway, because then uh, if we did manage to get that, then we could put that on Cloud's like triple materia thing and birth a couple others. Oh, and yeah. Just, like, power yes. level really fast. The thing is, XP isn't what you really need extra of. You need yeah. AP. Yeah, but I am starting to like strategize for the grind that I know is coming. I'm like, okay, what do we have? What do we need? Yeah, I know there's people who play this game just like grinding out materia. Yeah. They just like level up materia, get a new one, it's level it up, get a new one. fun thing to do. Yeah. MMOs have replaced that. Like, exactly, yeah. Like I, clearly there was like a need in search of a Somebody saw this was like, some thing. people do this. Yeah, people are, <laughs> there's a part of some people's brain that is in search of something that wants to satisfy. Oh man, I deleted ESO off my PlayStation. Uh -huh. to, Speaking of the devil. And I really like, it was really like, oh, maybe I should just boot it up right now and walk around. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, right no. Now. say goodbye. <laughs> Later. Got back on my couch, my environment. It wasn't a very different environment, but yet it was a different feel. Mm -hmm. The TV has better color. Oh, fuck, we forgot to put the HDMI port back in the right spot. People are going to have no fucking idea why it's not working. Yeah, I think I had plugged in the HDMI port. In this is the TV back at the cabin. Yeah, the TV back at the cabin. I had plugged stuff into weird places. Well, we had had to re- <laughs> <laughs> in a I way feel terrible about this in retrospect. Seriously, if whoever somebody, came next was going to be like, what is up with the TV? I know, if somebody had done this and I like was in managing this property and I tried the TV and it didn't work, I would just be like, oh, fuck, like, I just, this is going to take an hour like, the figuring fuck it out. Whoever was going to like go in and do like the clean in between people was never going to notice that this was a mess. No. They're like, the HDMI port's plugged into the audio out? Not driving back up there. No. Anyway, I start looking up advice on what is the best way to level your characters. One of the main strategies is to fight enemies in the sunken Galnica. Okay. There's also a small area just south of Cosmo Canyon called Cactus Island. Oh, let's go to Cactus Island to level. Unfortunately, we don't see a Cactar. Yeah. I'm personally extremely bummed by this. I think we just forgot we that did. that was a place. Well, the thing got so goddamn frustrating that... The idea of like wasting any time to see a cactar <laughs> was like offensive, so. I gotta think these chocobos are old enough to fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on them. See if their balls have dropped yet. Have they had their first show? It'd be pretty funny if uh, birds had testicles flying around just like. Word periods. Hanging. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> like truck nuts on a bird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we go back to mate them. Mm -hmm. This one, Ake, you, and Mayok are gonna fuck Mayok. This one, Carob Nut. Oh, why did we? Oh, the Zayo Nut is for later. Is for the the gold chocolate. Oh, got it. How does a nut make a baby? They think you just feed it to them and they get all amorous. Oh, it's like oysters? <laughs> yeah, it's something like that. Fuck yes! Black chocobo! Oh, man. 
Yeah, I wish you fed the birds plates full of oysters. I love the imagery of that. If you just bring out just like a big pile of like raw, raw seafood. seafood and birds just like get into it. And they're screeching and squawking. And it's like it's, all over their feathers. And then feathers. it turns into like a lady in the tramp thing. And then they just, thing. no, it, it, it gets violent. Oh. They just go at it and they're like <laughs> screaming and there's like oysters stuck all over their feathers. Female black chocobo. Sweet. You know what? Choco is a fine name. What about uterus? No. Or no, that's gross. Or <laughs> I don't know. Some <laughs> something where all it is is used for making those babies. Forget it. Choco's a fine name. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with Choco. <laughs> so now go save. I bet breeders wish they could do this. Like, oh shit, the wrong one came out. Just go back and soft reset. I mean, I think that about all kinds of things. <laughs> yeah, do-overs in general. Okay, so now we're gonna bring the wonderful choke in. And hope to God it's a man. Oh, we gotta let, th let this go. This is taking up space. Yeah, so right now the wonderful chocobo is waiting in the wings. We mm -hmm. haven't found out what gender it is yet, but we got to make a little room in our six stables. So we got to say goodbye to our uh, first. poor chocobo this, who Billy was like, I would kick this one to the curb, but we kept him. <laughs> Sorry, this. Go live your life. Be free. Wonderful chocobo. Yes. Yes! Dude, I can't believe all of these things it's have gone our way. It's going to be our stud. It's really working out. The black chocobo was a female. The wonderful chocobo is a male. Yeah, this is the best luck. Like, we don't have to save scum or anything. Stud. That's the kind of word I was looking for. Thank you. Mare could have been another. Yeah, yeah I wasn't no. thinking quite a lot. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, what like, is the? I'm like, there are fake words for these. I was things. like, I don't want to name them after reproductive organs. Like, <laughs> medic, that's gross. All right, stud. So now. We have our black chocobo, we have our wonderful chocobo. First of all, go feed your black chocobo around 10 silka screens. And then we're gonna need to win 12 races between the two. The black chocobo and the wonderful chocobo. Oh. Got it. And then you also have to fight between three and 18 to make sure that they're old enough. I'm like involuntarily putting my head in my hands, like just listening to this again. <laughs> like I'm so accepting of it in the moment, but I'm like, oh man, there's a whole other loop Still of this. So you much fight more. Three to eighteen battles after like an hour of racing. What's gonna be harder is yeah, winning the twelve races. Yeah. <laughs> Five thousand dollars a green. It's an expensive bird right there. Getting along better. Go race. Race time, baby. Let's start a new tally. I kind of like the way this is all done. Yeah, this is actually pretty neat. I'm also glad we have a guide to shortcut us through it. Oh, it would it would be no fun to do otherwise. But it's so fucking fun I, like I this. I was gonna say, like, what, what? what kind of fun is this? <laughs> yeah, I want, there's gotta be some kind of clues somewhere, but I don't want to find it and figure it well, out. Well, there's the Choco Billy and the Chocobo Sage that's telling you about the breeding and stuff and like, they do kind of tell you how it works, but they don't, like, not enough. So on our second race, for some reason, Sid asks to ride instead of us. Yeah, I think if you start racing enough, they must have been when they were designing it being like, this is getting a little boring. We have to change it up <laughs> somehow. So they, like, let you race with Sid instead. Let me hop in this time? Sure. Sid's gonna race. Oh, really? Sid, how much experience do you have as a jockey? Oh, he'll do fine. Yeah, but is he getting along better with it? I mean, the bird was is that already just cloud? getting along better. Yeah, but with who? Which I, I think just in general, the whole team? it's getting along better. <laughs> get, that's all they say. So it must just be universal. Yeah, I guess he's used to driving things. Yeah. Oh, I rediscovered my uh, toilet problem. No, you're not yeah, flushing. Yeah. Uh, apparently somebody's here today. You can come over and take a look. Oh. Oh my god, my toilet problem. I totally forgot about that. That was I, going on so long ago at this point. I don't even remember what you're talking about. You're totally going to remember this soon, because for like eight months, my toilet would only flush if it had pee in it. It needed two flushes for the number two, and you, it just like guess, wouldn't yeah, oh, clear. Yeah, I remember. And it was, yeah, I this was a major ongoing problem for, for me, and I remember it bothered you when it was happening. <laughs> And there was a guy there that day to fix it, all the way back in October. Man, blast from the past, you know? <laughs> like, the toilet used to be different. I used to be different. <laughs> now that I kind of understand the manual game, it's not that bad as a minigame. No. 
similar to the fishing in 15, once I figured <laughs> it out, at the yeah. end I was like, you're well, like, I, I can do this. this a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this thing says that the experience plus material are barely worth the effort needed to obtain it. Oh, well then let's not do it, I guess. I, I trust Jagged. I mean, we'll see how much GP we have at the end of this. You can walk away with 300 GP from the Super Dunk game if you are good at it. Get really good at it. I could maybe try that. It says, uh, yeah, the idea behind it is to hold down circle for just the right amount of time, which ends up being about one second. After winning 10 baskets, it'll be like, do you Might want a double, double yeah. chance? And then, hmm. Well, maybe that's the move, to play basketball mm. for an hour. Oh god. I think there's a lot of baskets that you gotta hit. Yeah. In a row, too. Yeah, like, you gotta all, be good. Yeah, gotta in order to get 300. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Oh my god. The Wonder Catcher minigame is a completely random minigame that costs you 100 gil to play. The prizes you can potentially win are as follows. You know, a potion is 40% of the time, nothing is 30% of the time, one gil is 20% of the time. And then you can get 80 GP. 0.4% of the time. Like, what, what? That's such a small percentage. How would I. Why? What's even the purpose of that? To be playing and get lucky. Yeah. God. Did I rank up? Oh, to S class? Yeah, I must have. Because this, this is, is like fucking way fucking work. harder. Sprint now. Yes! Yes, dude! Good fucking work! Oh. Great fucking work. You might want to switch to racing the wonderful trip a little. Yeah. Oh man. We'll see though. I mean, Chobo looks I'm tired. I'm this is gonna net a lot of GP. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, we got 150 that time. Sprint now, all the way. Fuck yeah. No, they're faster. They're faster. Damn. Wow. You almost got that. No. Would have been a precious watch. A fire veil. No. The Mod's House mini game is more of a story and a really boring one at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Your only job during this story of a mog finding its true love is to feed some Koopo nuts. It's so funny to me that in this game, if you eat a nut, then you really want to fuck. <laughs> like yeah, they, they kept that solid The across. mogs yeah. as well as the chocobos. Mm -hmm. You gotta feed them a nut. I wonder if Cloud and Tifa, like, you know, chowed down on some nuts. <laughs> the 3D Battler is a 200 gil minigame that appears to have something to do with your button pressing skills, but it's really just a random minigame. What? Much like rock, paper, scissors, except the battles later on in the game have a really high advantage. Yeah, the robot fighting game is a game designed to make you feel like you could get better at it, but you can't. <laughs> like, that's crazy. It's like a closed door button on an elevator. Exactly. Yeah, you got enough sprint to just go. Go all the way. Fuck yes. Good fucking work. I think that was the guy coming to tell me, like, I can't fix your toilet today, I'm gonna have to replace no. it another day. I remember this now. It was like a mysterious <laughs> toilet problem. Like, the plumbers were like, I cannot... I think they we kept just replacing <laughs> things, and it wouldn't fix it. And, and their idea was just, like, new toilet? Yeah. Like, just throw it out, I guess. One day they got me a whole new thing, <laughs> and it works. Even if you hold it down, it's Yeah, still... I mean, either way, it should just flush when you push it down, you know? I love the idea that the plumber is like at home and he's got a chalkboard and notes and like a diagram of the toilet and he's like, the pressure should be enough. Like, what am I missing? Well, what was maddening to me is that if it was empty, it would clear the bowl. So I would have him over and I'd be like, I swear to God, sometimes it doesn't flush all the way. And he would be like, it flushes fine. And I'm like, oh, right. I don't know You're what right. to tell it was you. Like one of those, Do like, you want me to shit in it? And then I can prove to you that it won't clear <laughs> like, it? Stud is not a racing bird. Really? Well, even fed him any greens. He's a pain oh. in the ass. He just, like, doesn't even run straight. He even in C-Class? Oh, yeah, the races were getting tough enough that we decided to try racing our wonderful Chocobo. Which, it turns out, even if your Chocobo is wonderful, he sucks. Unless you, like, feed him the right stuff. Cause... My thought was that, like, he must be able to win at least one race. No, He's you, wonderful. You He's... get on him, and he just, like, sprints without you telling him to. He just, like, drives himself <laughs> into the wall. Yeah. Like So, like, the race I ran, I think you were in the bathroom or yeah. something. But it took, like, a long time. Because think... he runs out of stamina and then slowly I come back limps. and I don't believe you to the degree that we we do it again, yeah. and then I see it for myself. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think it matters what class he's in. He's oh. not a good bird. Interesting. Yeah. But I thought he was a wonderful bird. Yeah, but we haven't fed him anything. Yeah, right. so, His stats 
Well, we can buy. It was unusable. I got in last by far. There's like no way to. There's nothing I could do. He wouldn't res wouldn't speed up. He wouldn't slow down. That's hilarious. Okay. So for the next race, Ryan picks out the wonderful Chocobo again. Yeah, I don't know why. It was an I accident. Did that. Yeah. Try him this again. Give it one more shot. Oh, this isn't who I meant to choose. Fuck, I don't want to do this. Oh, I, th I thought that you were just giving this another shot. <laughs> wow! Wow. And I can't Wonderful, my I ass. This is sprinting, too. Wow. Full sprint. Not great. Not fucking great, stud. Well, stud it, is, is for one purpose. Yeah, I think it just means he has the potential to get better yeah, when yeah. they're wonderful, but... Yeah, really not a riding chicken. And when your bird is out of control, like, the camera is too, so the whole race, you're just, like, looking <laughs> off into, like, a blank gradient that's, like, the outside of the track. It's like, like the can't... chocobo is cross-eyed. Exactly, you can't even see what's ahead. You're just, it's so, it's so bad. Yeah, you didn't undersell how fucking terrible this thing is. It's so sideways, I can't even see the course. Like, he's I'm just gonna walk to the end. This is so much more epically terrible than I thought possible in this game. Yeah, it's bad. He didn't, didn't even, even make finish. it. Well, I guess I'll go feed him some greens and come back. Cause I don't think I can. Win. You don't think? You, can I try the yeah, sure. first ones? Yeah. I'm probably not gonna. I mean, it just seemed like because the first two that I won, I was like, this is hard, but I can win. And then it just shifted. To, yeah. Like, Everybody is so fast. Yeah. This looks potentially doable. Uh, let me try that one more time. Sure. Oh, this guy's here. I'm really in trouble. Yeah, I'm going up against Tio. Yeah, these last few races we need to win with the bird are just like, it's so tough. Yeah, I mean, we only need two more wins. Yeah. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, fuck! Da -da -da. One more. Yeah, go for it as much as you want. It felt like I could, I was close there, right? Get out of the fucking way. God. Yes! <clears throat> yeah, see, it's yes. doable. That was tough. I started getting really good at it before the end because you, there's like so much involving stamina management and managing mm -hmm. pressing against the other chocobos. But I think there's also like a dice roll in there of what yeah. chocobos are you going to be there's up against. There's also that. Yeah. So you have to get <laughs> lucky. It has to be possible in the first place. Yeah. No precious watch? I know, I really want the precious watch. What is the precious watch? I wonder if it's an item that like it just never comes up as, and it's like, you can win a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can I win one more? A friend is here. Yeah, our top speed is just kind of low. I think that's the biggest problem. Yeah. I think I also figured like sprinting is better when passing. Mm-hmm. Get out of my way, everybody. Yes. No! no! <sighs> oh, man. Came in second. Here's your ticket. Yes! Fuck yes! Like you just need enough yes. stamina At to the pass end. them there yeah. and, and get there first. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. There we go. That should be 12. Fuck yes. Okay, so now we've done it. Now we need to get into 3 to 18 battles, breed this gold, mm -hmm. and then go to the Materia Caves. Yeah, in reading about chocobo breeding, we learned that the point of the gold chocobo, as well as the other colors, I guess, is mm -hmm. to get to the Materia Caves, which right. that island we kept flying over that's not on the map is one of those. Yeah, you can't get it through the submarine. You can't get there with the airship. Yeah. You're going to need a special chocobo. But the chocobo, gold chocobo can run over anything, so yeah. he can just take you to any part of the And map. the Materia Caves we've read are caves with good materia. That's exactly what they are. And then get buff. I don't know if I'm up for getting buff today. Yeah, I know. I'm, I might. Getting home, really, I was like, oh man, I want to be home. Yeah. I want to go home. Yep. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> but I wanted to finish this chocobo. Yeah, I'm glad, I, I'm glad you came to do it. It's time to not do this for a little it's bit. It's been a lot of this. And it'll be fun to have like one last session where we beat all the things. Yeah. Yeah, just one last session after this, right? That would be really fun if that's what it ended up being. Which it might be long, depending on how much grinding we have to do, but I feel like it's doable in one. I guess if you had been trying to breed chocobos throughout the game and you were using these lacing nuts and stuff, and then you, like, found these special nuts... Right, there. exactly. Like, it would require a time sink of, like, every stage you had to stop and breed chocobos, you did it with what you had. And right. Then, yeah. But then the stage of, like getting into figuring out who has what nuts and then being like, the goblins on this island have the nut I- oh my god. Like, that's that being- well, that's the ultimate nut, is the goblins on that island. And that's what's so awesome, is we went to those islands, and we were like, what are these here for? 
<laughs> yeah, and the idea that it's there for just that is so ridiculous. Yeah. But I kind of like it in a way. It's kind of like, you know, the secret of like, well, if you really want to breed the best chocobos, you got to get the best nuts. They're an island nobody lives on. It's just got one. Like, the, right. the meta of it is cool. But the it's not like you can go like, harvest the nuts on this island that grow there. It's just like these goblins have it. You farm them from go goblins, yeah. <laughs> Take them by conquest. Uh -huh. The fact that somebody was like, oh yeah, but like the chocobos when they're first born, you can't just like breed them right away because they're, they gotta like mature to menarchy or whatever, and then the way you do that is like fight. Yeah, I mean, figuring out how time passes would be pretty frustrating. Like, do I just leave for a while? Right. It's really so crazy to me that somebody thought to not let the chocobos breed as soon as they're born. That's, that's not how it is in real life, Jeff. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we are gonna have to get all three of these guys' uh, limit breaks, too. I know. Alright. We may, may, be ready to breed the Golden Token. Potentially. So we've done between 3 and 18 battles, so let's go try to breed these things. Yeah. Gotta make a little room first. So uh, say goodbye to Issa. I know everyone's gonna miss her. <laughs> or him. This is a him, I guess. Go on, Issa. Live your life. Free. So we're mating the black <clears throat> one. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, okay. okay. It's not All right. long enough Still yet. Still a few more fights. So we go back out. Yeah, and this time I think I have like a pro strategy if you're doing this. Just go fight the Midgar Zolom. You don't have to wait for a random encounter. You can just walk into the swamp again and again. And we're gonna win every time because we're that strong. Mm -hmm. Can you kill the snake? I already killed it yesterday. I oh. stopped here and I fought it. Not so tough now, are you? Nope. Oh, I think. You get the mess of Mune from the submarine minigame. I don't know that we care to get it. Yeah, is that anyone's ultimate weapon or anything? It's just a... Uh... You can also get a 135th soldier. I don't care about that at all. <laughs> the mess of Mune blade, a completely useless replica of Sephiroth's sword. Oh. Okay. They weren't lying when they said he's the only one who could wield it. Fuck that. <laughs> I bet it, it goes in your house, I bet. Yeah. Like... <laughs> You know, once you've done all the battles and, like, you know, you won all those stuff, you want somewhere to display it. Yeah, they were not quite up to what would be cool there yet. Like, what you want is stuff from the game that you remember in mm -hmm. your house, not, like, random bullshit you had to grind for that's not useful. <laughs> like, if you beat a certain boss, its head should be in your house, you know, shit like that. You yeah, want, that would like, be awesome. You don't want, like, stuff trophies monster. that you have to grind for. It's like, neat, it's Sephiroth's sword, I guess, but... <laughs> Yeah, man, there's four Materia Caves. Nice. See, I would have looked at Chocobo breeding and been like, cool, so you can have a Tamagotchi. Mm -hmm. And fuck it. Uh, but, I like, the idea that, like, once you level up your Tamagotchi all the way, you unlock secret areas that give you even better real loot. Make them Chocobos! So this, this one. one and... Ooh, this one. I think so, too. Stud. Stud. This one. You gotta give them that Zayo nut. The Dr. Zayo nut. <laughs> this is what chocobo porn music sounds like. And then they just give life birth the next day. Yes! Fuck yes! Got him. He looks Gold like chocobo! He looks like scrambled eggs. He does. Which We should name him something real. Scramble. Scramble it is! Scramble. Scramble. Scramble our golden chocobo. chocobo. Now we fucking ride him everywhere. That was an ordeal, and I can't believe we cut it down to two episodes. Me neither, but this is a pretty satisfying payoff. Like, briefly, you it's cool, you know? It's, <laughs> it's really brief and fast, but you get some cool stuff. Yeah. Yes! Oh my god, it's been so long. It's been such a long road to get here. They told us about this a week ago. I know. Giddy up! Okay, so let's go to the Quadra Magic Materia Cave first. Where is that? It's found to the northeast of Medeal. You require a chocobo that can run across sh shallow waters, which the blue, black, and gold can do in order to reach it. Huh? Oh my god! Oh my god! Just running on top of the ocean. Yep. Running up, hopping up cliffs. Oh my god. This was the first time I'd seen anything like this, and oh, I, it's yeah. really awesome. <laughs> Suddenly having the world, like, you dominate it now. The way you can run over geometry is really funny. Yeah. <sighs> this is great. Yep. It's on one of those peninsulas. Yeah, maybe towards the end of this, it's gonna pop in any second. Nope, yep. there. <laughs> wow, the freedom that the gold chocobo gives you. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. 
Yeah, I, I feel like in this era of games, it was a thing, too, where, like, if you really did 100%, they would give you stuff that was, like, god right. mode. Yeah. But, like, even though you were done with the game, there was nothing you could really effectively use it for. Right. You could just, like, run all over the whole place. It's like, do, you know... Change the gravity or exactly, something. Exactly, yeah. yeah. This feels kind of like that to me. So we're in the first of the four Materia Caves, and we walk up to a big crystal. Which is this, like, kind of beautiful, like, it's almost like a cave in a cove on a beach. You yes. know, like, it's, it's full very of, like, serene. sand, and, yeah, there's kind of, like, a soft light from a hole in the ceiling. You get the Fort Condor music, which is very lulling and mm -hmm. wonderful. Over the course of many years, Mako Energy crystallizes into Materia. Yeah, we knew that. Quadra Magic. Oh, fuck. Yes. yes. Quadra Magic. That's gonna be amazing. So that's one of the Materia Caves. <laughs> The next is the Mine Materia Cave. We don't realize it yet, but each of these materia that you get in these caves, like, you have to puzzle out how they work together mm -hmm. in order to beat the optional They're bosses. They're really giving you the stuff now mm -hmm. to start leveling to work on the final boss. You know, they could have, man, I mean, if they could have given you this shit earlier so you could grind, but I mean, if they we, gave it to you earlier, it would break the entire game, this right, stuff. Right, that's but. true. <laughs> Located to the east side of the Wutai continent, Look at me, just running across the ocean. I know, it's fucking cool. No random encounters, no impediment, just run. Chocobo is golden. It's somewhere around here. There it is. I love that these caves are just caves. Mine materia. Like, it's yeah, just like, here's so, the this thing. This is so great, yeah. Like, this isn't, like, I thought we were going to I was worried there would be dungeon. dungeons, yeah. Well, not worried exactly, but this is much nicer. Yeah. To go around and collect your treasure after. Because we already put in all that fucking work to exactly. get Exactly. Don't like, make me work harder. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is located near the entrance to Mount Coral on the opposite side of North Coral. You need to cross a river and a mountainous area in order to reach it, which only the black and the gold chocobos can do. So we're getting more and more exclusive. Mm -hmm. God, I love this. Where the fuck is North Coral? This is it. It's gotta be. Yep, it just looked yep. like somewhere we had been in before. Yeah, but... it did. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have even seen that as something that stands out as a place I couldn't get to. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the HP MP swap materia there, which I don't think we actually use. No, but I do think there is a strategy you could employ for the weapons that uses it. Right. But we, we don't. And then the last one is... The uh, last one is the, uh, the way thing. Up here. In the... Yeah, it's in like the top right corner of the minimap. So we're in the final Materia Cave, mm -hmm. and we get the legendary Knights of the Round. Ah, Knights of the Round! Oh, dude. I think that's the most powerful it Materia is. We in the game. It is, gotta see this. We gotta test oh, this out shit. before I go. Have you gotten this before? No, I've never gotten this myself. This is like, this is, this is the one. <laughs> I think this can one-shot the final boss if you're high enough level. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Yeah, I think if you're high enough level, this which we probably like, will be because we're gonna beat like probably, weapons and yeah. shit. I mean, I'm gonna vote that if we get all the way up so high, we like let him do some moves on us first before we stop him just to see what he's got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Like, Sephiroth is not gonna be ready for this. Oh, oh this one I get in a fight. Right. You saved, right? Oh man, prepare yourself. This is gonna be the most overkill overkill. This is compl this is so absurd. <laughs> I think it takes like minutes to play out. Oh, and you're gonna use it on like some goblins? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that you brought the gold chocobo back to the Zeonut forest to be like, this is where you came from. This is where it all began for you. You don't know it, but Okay. Knights of the Round, huh? I guess it's based the on ultimate a, end. a classical classic like Capcom arcade game or something. I don't really? Know. Yeah. But not based on the Medieval Knights of the Round. Whoa, dude! What? Whoa! And then more of them. Ha! Knights of the Round has thirteen attacks, where each knight comes flying in with like a spinning staff and mm -hmm. like destroys them for yeah, huge amounts you, of damage. The whole battlefield becomes like some extra-dimensional like plane of swirling colors, and they just fly around and blow shit up and one it's, at a time. And it's long. It's like minutes. It's crazy. Dude, what? <laughs> what is this? More? Five? Six? Seven. And he just walks away with ice. Eight? What? <laughs> when is it gonna end? 
What is that doing to them? Nine? <laughs> One thing I love about them is like most of them just have a big sword and slam it into the enemies, but some of them have like ice attacks or like meteors come out of nowhere. Yeah, it's and crazy. Slam down on them. One of them like points a staff at you and then you explode and fire. <laughs> How many knights of the round were there? Ten? And here's the, an eleventh. Jesus! And a twelfth. Yeah, I think there were twelve. Wow. And then this? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. <laughs> what is... What? Who is that? I'm assuming that 13th one is Arthur. I think it's like a mecha, so like a mecha King Arthur, like this big <laughs> robot with a red cape comes up and he's kneeling and he throws his cape open and raises like a giant sword and smashes down for, for the, the final, final ultimate <laughs> <Yeah>. slam. <laughs> well, that's what I mean is they're not based on the classic Arthurian legend. I think they're based on <laughs> no the arcade kidding. game based on the classic Arthurian legend. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Because, like, if you Google Knights of the Round, it comes up with Whoa. some box for an old game called Knights of the Round. That Whoa, that was dudes. so much kill. It's a lot of kill. It's 12 summons in one. Mm -hmm. 13. And each one of them is, like, the most powerful summon that you've got. Yeah. Times 12. Yeah, and if you level up high enough, they should one be doing shots. max damage each time. Yeah, and we'll be able to do ultimate... Can we try just go walk to and see what we do to that uh underwater weapon i mean we can't even get a turn off he just like each attack he does does about four thousand damage yeah you're right so okay in that case the things that are left for us to do are clouds limit break in the battle square mm -hmm. leveling um, up fighting the bosses i think it's time for the final boss after that Fucking turtle, turtles, paradise flyers. No, I mean I don't really care about any other like ultimate weapons and stuff that we haven't gotten. I don't either. I don't feel the need to get every summon or anything either. Like Knights of the Round is like the, that's, that's the satisfying. One. Yeah. yeah. I want the chicken to go on the. Oh yeah. You did get the chicken the in the boat. Yeah, you just gotta enter the boat. Yeah. And then you, he's in like the stable on the boat. Mm -hmm. Man, we got a fully loaded airship now. This game is fucking great. Can we do the Battle Square stuff right now? The gold Probably. Well, we're there. Let's go. Pretty predatory of Dio to hook up the only way into the casino to the poorest city in the entire fucking world. Oh man. <laughs> How are they not making money off of that? Right? Why are they a coal mining town? Why aren't they like a tourist town? Why don't they have hotels and stuff? I don't know, man. <laughs> so we go to the gold saucer, ready to do the battle square, mm -hmm. and I start reading about what is going to be required for the battle square. Yeah. So in preparation for these battles, you should equip Cloud's ultimate weapon mm -hmm. and your strongest armor, which is either Zydric or Mistal. We have Mistal. We don't uh, have Zydric. And equip a ribbon. Fuck, who has the ribbon? Oh, God. What? Make sure that Cloud has 9,999 HP and supplement him with the HP plus material. Well, never mind. If you need in order to cap his HP. Actually, the HP plus material might do it. Yeah, we get up to 4,000. <laughs> yeah, maybe we do this after we level two. Enemy skill, luck plus, and magic plus. Because I have a feeling we're going to want all three of those characters at, at 9,999. 9, 9, right. Oh my god. So, once you obtain his limit break in the thing and teach it to him, you can participate in the special battles at the Battle Square. The prizes that you can spend your points on don't change, but you can automatically receive a final attack materia. Final attack materia is critical for some of the more difficult fights in the game, including Emerald Weapon and Ruby Weapon. You can pair final attack materia with revive materia or Phoenix materia to automatically revive your party members if they are knocked out during a battle. I don't even think we have revive materia. I don't think we do either. That was something I always was like, where's the fucking revive yeah, material? Said it, found it. We are so fucked. We are really, really fucked. I really wish at certain points in the game they had put bottlenecks where they're like, if you don't have the revive material yet, you better figure that out because <laughs> right. you can't get past you. We don't even have final but, attack yeah, yet. We, we don't have like half of what God. we need. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we level up and then do this and then do the final bosses and then do the final, final boss. Yeah. You buy revive material in Costa del Sol or Junon. I feel like we had seen it before and I was always going, oh, we're gonna want that, and then we left and yeah. I never picked it up. Because I think we never had the money for it exactly, when we were there. Yeah. 
Because I do remember this being like, oh, this place is full of good stores. Which are where? There we go. Okay. We should have had that in disc one. They were selling it at the store, at, at the Materia store in Costa del Sol. But we were Sol. fucking broke because of Fort Condor. What a bunch of idiots we are. <laughs> so yeah, we pick up the revive Materia. Yeah, for level, the first level one time. revive Materia. I mean, I guess the, the next move is to go level in the thing. Yeah. So let's go there and save, and you want to call it a day at that, that point? That sounds great to me. I love this game, but... I need to fucking not I need play. a break, yeah. I fucking... I can't look at this anymore. So... Where we're leaving it, though, is clean. Yeah. What, is, what does that even mean? I'm never really sure, but you. I feel like you always have some sort of criteria of, I like, do. where it's okay to stop and not to stop. I and do I've think just it, accepted it. It has <laughs> to do with some kind of OCD sectioning that I do in my brain, mm -hmm. breaking things into complete pieces that I see as a complete piece. Right. And I'm like, well, that's a satisfying ending uh, for my internal self. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I makes, I, it makes sense, but for me, I'm always willing to stop, like, totally in the middle of something. Right. I think it's that... <laughs> I'm like, well, we got the gold chocobo, we got mm -hmm. Knights of the Round. Yeah, like, no, it makes we're gonna sense. Embark we on finished a new... like what right, we were doing exactly. before we start the next but, thing. Yeah, it's 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 clean. <laughs> Let's also like get our cell, our materia ready, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, give Cloud Apocalypse. I mean, I'm mostly looking at what do we want to level up? Like, right. what abilities don't we have right. that we can get? Right. I mean, it sucks, but like, <laughs> right. The growth potential, Jeff. I know. Yeah. Looking good? Mm-hmm. Save. Yep. We're gonna come back, level for a while, fuck up those bosses, and finish this game. It's gonna be so good to not look at this game for a day or two. <laughs> yeah. When are we gonna finish this? I don't know. Maybe I could do it on Monday, I'm not sure though. Okay. But I can't do it this weekend at all. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I need some time away. And that's episode 39. We are truly underway now. Yeah. This, uh... This is the descent. So the next episode, I think, starts like a week later. Mm -hmm. We have like breakfast, and then we go back and we do a giant grind session in the Galnica to get ready to do the battle square. Yeah. It's our first like real taste of the Galnica. You know, we've been there, but we haven't like been there. No, and it's our first real, like, let's just go and get in a bunch of random battles mm -hmm. and that's all we're doing. Yeah, We're making the numbers we go We had up. a couple small grind sessions before for, like, money and More stuff. More for money, though, yeah. But not... this is like, this is like, we gotta get to 999. Nine, nine, mm -hmm. We gotta get it all uh, up. Gotta get that materia to start growing. Mm -hmm. We don't even know which ones, really. We're just seeing what's not leveled. I don't know that we have, like, the right materias on the apocalypse, which triples the growth. Like, yeah, do we, we even... were, I mean, we were inefficient at this. Especially at this point. Yeah. But we're gonna get ready for the battle square next week. There's just a desert of content ahead. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like nothing for weeks and weeks, but there's still gonna be episodes. I know. I mean, we're closing in on the end, though. We like, are, There's yeah. going to be... We're, we're getting there. I think 47, 48 episodes, depending. I think one of them's going to be a two-parter. Mm -hmm. So that's two episodes. We're home. <laughs> we're back in, in Los I Angeles. I actually feel good to be mentally back in L.A. <laughs> from editing this. Like, How I feel different better. did that episode sound to you guys? I mean, I guess what we learned here is <laughs> vacation is not what's suited for this. Like, don't do this on your vacation. I don't know. I I, I think back on it really fondly. Oh, like, I do too. I do too. But it was like to... we could have done this at your place and yes. then saved the money and then just actually then just... gone on a vacation right. anyway. But what were we going to... On a vacation halfway through it, I'd be like, you want to play a Final Fantasy game? We probably would play video <laughs> games anyway, yeah. But we're not going to do I it for know. a week. I, I have, reflecting on it, I definitely feel like I learned about how I do and don't want to plan trips. That's fair. You know, That's fair. You know what I mean? Statement. How I could do better. Yeah. I'm not saying it was a total waste and I had no fun, but it <laughs> could do better. I mean, if you think about it, we got 39 episodes out of a week of recording. That is true. That's I mean, true. and I then mean, still, yeah. nine more months of other recording and mm -hmm. editing. But, I, you know, it's just kind of interesting to me how many episodes this has turned into. Yeah. It's not really an interesting point to anybody, really, but to me... <laughs> It is a lot of episodes. <laughs> All right. Oh, are you ready to enter the live stream? Yeah, let's just think really intensely about clouds until our egos melt and we become one with the bunny in the sky. I love that. I'm going to become water particles. <laughs> it's going to be great. Let's do it.
I like being a cloud. It's way better than being a person, I can tell you that right now. And that's how Cloud, the character, feels. Mm -hmm. The person, Cloud. <laughs> no, funnily enough, I didn't even intend that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see a message. It's coming towards me. The message reads, Jeff and Ryan, reliving a classic like FF7 has been a blast and brought back great memories that never would have otherwise crossed my mind. The incredible yet sometimes convoluted journey into Cloud's revisionist history, the amount of time I too wasted before realizing how limit break level ups worked, and the perplexing Mendelian trials of raising the perfect chocobo specimen. Every week is another hilarious hit of nostalgia. I am aware that, like Edgar and Sabine's life-altering decision, the fate of this podcast next season rests on a coin toss. Jeff, Ryan, and Haley, consider this $25 submission both as a holiday gift and also a symbol of karma for how I hope that coin toss results. Final Fantasy VIII, the most controversial game in the series, somehow both underrated and overrated, with the greatest music FF has to offer, has got to be the outcome of that 50-50 chance. I provide this live stream message with no solicitation nor promotion, just the personal program of trying to will my favorite Final Fantasy from youth to become the next featured season of this spectacular podcast. And if it does win the coin toss, I'll be the first consumer to broadcast a message in that incredible journey of a season. Keep up the great work, gents, and happy holidays. Thank you very much for that amazing message. Do, I do really wish that something as simple as $25 could, like, save us from the uncertainty that is the black box of time ahead of us. Affecting the, the <laughs> probabilities and fate. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate the sentiment. You know, there's a lot, you know, I, I'm excited to play FF8, but also FF2 could be in the cards, and whatever the journey brings us will be a lot of fun, but we will be go doing both of them eventually. Yeah. We have tied ourselves to the philosophy of not being in control of anything. Right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much to Teddy Fox. Thank you. For that message, and let's get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. And we're back. If you're interested in a live stream message, just email nocappodcast at gmail.com. That's N-O-C-K-A-T with the subject line live stream. We do payments through PayPal. So, it, you know, just email us and we'll we'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. And also tell a friend. Yeah. Tell a friend about the show. Rate and review us on iTunes. Yeah. We're getting, you know, there's a good amount of this season out there um, now for people to binge. So you know. tell your friends that we're closing in on the finale. Maybe they can listen to all of it and be ready by the time we release, you know, yeah, the next, can, week of, next month of shows. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, man, get ready because we're closing in on the fucking remake is coming out. Yeah. Right? Yep. <laughs> well, theoretically, we're, I think, two or three months away from it if mm -hmm. it hasn't been delayed. I don't think it will be. I know you're <laughs> certain that it will. I've just built that into my head. It's not, I mean, it's a safe thing to build into your head. Yeah, as we'll we discussed see how it in this episode, out. I mean, 15 was. I'm you know. starting to think that they might hit that date, which makes me think they're about to announce the delay. I mean, we will know. This is right now we're recording this before Tokyo Game Show. <laughs> right. Where I expect right. there will be more information. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I mean, they're not opposed to releasing games that just fucking aren't finished. So. Yeah, and that's what we all want out of this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I would much rather take the delay. <laughs> All right. Find our T-shirts and mugs on Etsy. Uh, yeah. Uh, Search have, our name in Etsy. We have merchandise Etsy. on Etsy, and thank you, as always, to our Patreon supporters. Yes. Thank you so um, much for keeping this show going, as it would not be doing if we didn't have some people out there showing us that you really uh, love the show. Yeah, that we are actually adding value to, mm -hmm. to the general blob of the consciousness of podcasting. Yeah, that just generic blob. It's hard to define, but we're adding to it, and that feels good. Yeah. And follow us on social media at No Cat Podcast, where we post about foods that we make, mm -hmm. we post pictures of Haley, and we post about when we're doing Twitch streams. Yeah, and um, that's about it. That's pretty but much we, it. You know, we're trying to diversify, but there's stuff on there you can go see, yeah. clips from the show, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So uh, go do all that. And with that, let's have a little no one can know about this dessert. Mm, it's kind of amazing that there's so many desserts that we haven't run out yet. Desserts is a whole universe. Like, the, I don't think we would ever run out. What Let if this Google week we dessert. had a meditation on desserts as a dessert? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to look anything up because that's too good. We're having that. Close your eyes and just think on the nature of dessert. Here you go. Hang on. I just Googled Valvados 
on Urban Dictionary, it's the queen fairy, the prophet of pimp, the lady boy of lust. What is the, what am I what am I reading over here? The lady boy of lust. Well, Yahweh Queen, the, there was a story of his greatness, he who could cleanse the land of dirt and grind and spread the teachings of Yahweh. I'm confused by this. I don't know if this is a thing we want to step into. Maybe uh, Yahweh? Like the god, like Yahweh? It's spelled Y-A-O-I. Oh, we don't want to step into this. That's not, that's, that's. What is that? <laughs> You're free to Google it. You're at the computer. Oh. Yahweh is different than what I thought it was. It's not it? Yahweh. No, it's not Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> I just Googled it, and it's not Yahweh at all. <laughs> and anyway, this enemy is is Vlack Corridos, <laughs> not Valvados at all. How did <laughs> how did we end up here? I don't know. So what is what is Yahweh, Jeff? Can uh, you even say? <laughs> It's a slang, pornography, anime, manga, a form of hentai involving two or more males in a homosexual relationship. It's, oh, this is that shit I, yeah, from, from the South uh, from Park. the South yeah. Park thing, yeah, right? Where all the girls oh, get really into. that's right. 